thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is sad. The kind of love that I've received since the very first day that I stepped in this country. And I'm getting the same love as I'm stepping out of the country. I don't think the memories that I've created in this country, I will ever forget it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Is that, is that performance for me? Oh my goodness! This guy is a living legend. The living legend. What <laughs> up? To the world! Literally the entire country watches my channel and it's exciting to know that like I came here with just few people knowing me and we are leaving the country with the entire people of the country watching and supporting you that everywhere you go you just have to say hi, hello to everyone that you meet on the street. Suriname. Thank you. Shava. Thank you. You're welcome. How can people find you? On Facebook, Super Sharda. And then from there on you can contact me also on WhatsApp and my email. Thank you so much for arranging this trip. It was really worth it. I'm so glad that I made it to Uruwa Uruyari. <laughs> Bye bye. Bye. Hi. Thank you. All right. Time to say bye bye. <laughs> Time to say goodbye to Suriname. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm leaving, man. Listen, I, I need to buy a house in this country, man. No matter what, I gotta own a house in this beautiful country because the love is just overwhelming, man. Like, everyone appreciate what I do. Thank you, sir. Now, <laughs> I, 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 that would be that would be the last video. Oh, 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 yeah. I'm good. How about you? Is it possible to make a picture? Of course. Why not? <laughs> uh, happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. To you but too. I take butter. I. Oh, 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 take it, take it, take it easy, take it easy. Mm. Yeah, the the background is not so. I grab up, you grab that. Yeah. Uh, he also want to make a picture of you. Yeah, the airport actually looks very nice. And did you know that I think 93? Did you know that 93 percent of Suriname is covered with forest? So yeah, that's a fact that most of you don't know. It's a very big country, but 93 percent is covered with green. That's amazing. Which makes Suriname the greenest country in the entire world. Hi. Yeah. I love this, it's nice. 
Thank you. Goodbye Suriname. I thank you so much Suriname Airways for this flight. I'll see you guys when I touch that. Diana again even though I'm not gonna go into the country but I'm just hoping that someday I'll be back in Diana. I actually enjoyed my time in Diana and I really wanna be back someday. Thank you. Uh, we'll be staying in a different place this time around. We'll be staying at this beautiful hotel that you've seen. I feel like right now I'm a big boy, man. I keep on hopping from different Hilton hotels in different countries and it's proudly sponsored by the tourism ministry. I just want to tell you, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Don't listen to what people are saying. So far as you know what you're doing and you believe in it, no matter how tough it's gonna be, it's definitely gonna pay off. Let my story inspire you. Anyway, no time for motivation. I'm so hungry. So come along with me. Let's go have some breakfast before we check in the room. One thing that I've seen in the Caribbean with Hilton Hotels it's like the breakfast is always a long queue it's a major deal like everybody loves the breakfast the tropical fruits the local cuisine it's always a must-have constantly for us here at the hilton barbados can you can you believe that all these people you've seen are queuing for breakfast wow when i go to hotels and i look around and i see all the food you know what cross my mind i'll be like you know what i don't want to move i just want to stay in the hotel eat, walk a little bit, come back and eat again. But as soon as I start eating just one plate, I get full, man. I don't know how. Hi, good evening. Good morning. Yeah, and I need an omelette without cheese. Onions, veggies, like, I, I just don't need the mushrooms, but I need the onions and everything, yeah. It feels good to be back here 
in Barbados, one of the most beautiful islands in the Caribbean. But one thing that I really love about this country, the fact that the country is taking advantage of tourism. I feel like the main economic drive of this beautiful island is tourism because every corner that you go in this country got tourists, man. And you know, like when the economy depends on tourists, you need to also try as much as possible to build one of the best and quality uh, accommodation that when people come in here, they're gonna stay. I mean, I, I feel like Barbados depends on goods and services. I mean, retailing. That's what I see. I mean, because the drivers that you see in here are so professional. The, the, the cars that, the taxis that takes you from the airport back to your room, like, they know what they're doing. Even when you come to your hotel, like where I am right now, one of the best hotels that I've ever stayed, I am here to have fun. I'm not gonna be here to talk to you too much. I just wanna have fun. I heard some sounds going on in the hotel. So I gotta do my thing, like always. in Barbados is so magical. Why are you always say that? The reason why I'm saying magical is because sometimes I feel like it's so unreal. Yeah. Because it's my second time coming back. The first time that I came, I saw a whole different, you know, perspective of Barbados. The green, the blues, the white sand beach. And today I'm back and I'm seeing something extraordinary that where I'm sleeping, the four corners of the resort have the ocean view. Oh, wow. And on top of the ocean, you will see yacht, horses, 
in the ocean. And I'm like, last time I was here, I didn't see it. So it feels like a magic. I mean, seeing horses taking shower in the ocean. The horse racing is one of the biggest sports events in this country. Come in! Cleaning the horse, or you are training the horse in the water? Uh, they, they are cooling up. Cooling up? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's gonna come. <laughs> because I, I was told that because they, they, they do horse racing in here, yeah. they bring them into the water more like an exercising or something. Well, some exercise, some they have to cool. Like they always do in the pool and they have to Oh, cool. so they're more like cooling off? Yeah. Ah, that's so Relaxing. cool. Relaxing. Yeah. So you do that every morning? Well, most horses are not me. <laughs> ah, twice a week. You do it twice a week. Okay, but most horses do it every day. Wow. So what you're telling me is Barbados is so good, you had to come for the second time. For the second round, because you didn't get enough the first time. They always say, don't go back to your ex. <laughs> but as for Barbados, I'll go back for it. So Robin is your ex? Yeah, because I left and I'm back. <laughs> you know? And are you leaving or are you convinced that now we need to stay here? I'll think about that. Okay. <laughs> but so far we're just loving it here at the Hilton. This place is huge. And the rooms that they have are very cozy, very spacious. The food is finger licking good. The people here are very, you know, it's a very hospitable. They're very hospitable. I mean, the, the service that you get in here, it's uh, so professional. Yeah. And the fact that wherever you stay in Hilton, you got the view of the ocean. So this is more like an oceanfront hotel Not resort. Not just the ocean, but the most popular beach in Barbados. That is the Coral Bay right in front of you. And can I tell you something that you don't know? Do you know that where you're staying is actually a heritage site? Is it? A UNESCO heritage site. Wow. You didn't know? No, which heritage site is it? I think I need to take you there. Good morning, sir. How morning. are you? Pleasure to have you at the Hilton Barbados. Thank you. Thank you. And I want to welcome you to Fort uh, Charles. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, the fort was founded in 1600s. So we're walking into a fort that is over 500 years old. Wow. It has a very symbolic place in the island of Barbados because it has always been managed by the Barbados militia against the colonial times of the Spain and French. And it has always been a victorious fort. So established in 1650, UNESCO World Heritage, Charles Fort. So this is the coastline. This is so important strategic point because you have the Carlyle Bay. Carlyle Bay was the center of exportation for rum, sugar cane. It was the commerce of the Caribbean. Mm. So all the sugar cane, all the rum, the molasses, the brick, the commerce was thrown through here. So oh. this was a huge area to protect the Carlyle Bay. haven't gotten the chance to experience the Caribbean because you don't have direct flights. Yeah. So I feel like once that changes, that's it. The Caribbean is done. Africans are going to be flocking here. Now it's about time for us to connect the dots. It's about time for us to show you this beauty so that you all will come and experience it for yourself. So welcome to Hilton. The most beautiful place to stay here in Barbados. And always make sure you don't stay here alone because you'll be depressed if you come alone. Always come with your loved one. Learn from me for the first time. <laughs>